They're actually getting in the way of each other a little bit. Ooh, it's harder than you. It's harder than you would think. So. Uh, Hey, what is up guys? John here, aka Bruce Lee, and we're back with another reaction video. Uh, today we're looking at Rama versus Hammer Girl and Baseball Batman fight scene in the Raid 2. Uh, I, it seems like you guys really enjoyed my other Raid 2 uh, reaction, uh, which was on the final fight. I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested. Otherwise, this is the breakdown. I'm a kickboxing teacher and Muay Thai fighter here in Canada. Let's get started. Oh. Nice lateral movement from Rama. Good catch kick. Attack some of the tender nerves. <laughs> There's an easy way to double tap that guy. Just stop him in the face. But it's kind of funny how he did. I, I just think that looks so funny. It looks like a, like a high school bully. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Is that a baseball bat? Well, I mean, it's a baseball Batman fight scene. So I assume so. By the way, guys, I'm going to be rating this reaction uh, or this fight scene based on two criteria. How realistic the uh, martial arts moves are and how entertaining the scene is as a whole since that's really the main objective of the movie. Let's see what happens here. Nice work from Rama to dodge, but I wouldn't let the get, get the guy uh, behind me. It's good stuff. Nice. Ooh. Really good stuff, guys. Like, uh, I, I, let's, let's stop it here and rewind it. Uh, a couple things you can notice right off the bat here. Even though, like, it seems like the baseball bat guy and the, the hammer girl or whatever, uh, they seem to know each other and might have some experience working together. There are, like, you have to fight differently when you're using weapons and uh, there's two versus one. Like, it's not, like, intuitively, like, 2v1 sounds like you have an advantage, and you do in terms of numbers, but you actually can get in each other's way here, which actually ends up happening. The one, uh, which, and, uh, Iko Ue actually forces that to happen, which is super cool, and what he does, he stays tight in their guard, and there's an optimal distance to use a baseball bat, right? So the length of the bat, or even the hammers, and I think this girl actually is using dagger forms, uh, to use that. Uh, so uh, keep an eye here, guys, on the fact that, um, uh, Rama stays really tight into the guard, and sometimes these two people fighting on the same team, they're actually getting in the way of each other a little bit. Let's watch again. So good dodge. Stay tight in the guard. And right here, they're starting to get in the way of each other there, like only one person can swing at a time. That really nullifies the effectiveness, and look how tight uh, Eco is here, where he gets into like, the, the grip of that baseball bat. So he's getting tight within uh, the hammers, and gets tight within the guard. It's exactly what you do, or like what I would do if I had the speed and reaction time. Yeah, so you see the, the way this girl's spinning here? Uh, I might have backed up too far. Whoops. That's okay, we can watch we can watch Eco do his thing one more time. Uh, watch how the girl is spinning here. Those are actually, I believe those are real dagger forms. So if, if I'm mistaken, someone let me know. And then the way Eco defends himself, he gets too close for the hammers to be useful by entering the guard. Very realistic in my mind, considering that they're hammers and not swords. With, with daggers, for real, it's a little bit risky. She's getting really creative with it. Like The choreography for this is really cool. Nice scissor trip. That works. You could actually break someone's shin like this. So you see what Eco does to the baseball bat guy? There's actually been cases where uh, what, the way he tripped him, you put so much pressure pressure on the shin with the weight of your hips or like the, the turn of your hips. Sometimes you actually break like Anderson Silva style, break someone's leg like that. So uh, pretty cool move. He's staggering that guy. He gets into her guard again and that's what's giving her trouble. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If so, please leave a like because it means a lot to me and supports the channel big time. And please consider subscribing so I can hang out with you again. For now, let's get back to the video. Don't grapple too long. Oh, nice. There we go. Well, the thing with the grappling when you're 2v1 is that, you know, it takes a while to finish someone wrestling. Oh, nice control from her. So you kind of want to you wanna do stuff that gets you quick results and grappling is not always the way to do it. So the two, the two teammates are starting to get each other's way again, right? That's what I mean, like your forms actually have to be different when you're fighting alongside someone. Something up with her eye. Ooh, that hilt shot felt bad. I love how the guy is moving the, the bat here. Like when he spins, that's cool. And then we're eco 
catches it into his ribs and then uh, grabs uh, over knee over top of the arm. This is actually just essentially uh, uh, a grab that you would use in Muay Thai against a kick. It works in principle. So the you know the one critique that I think like you could make is that like would a baseball bat not just shatter his ribs? But you gotta remember where he's catching the baseball bat is actually towards the hilt, not the end or not towards the head. And the head is the one that's really carrying a lot of that force. So that's where the weight is placed. So I fully believe that you can catch a kick into your uh, not a kick. I would be catching a kick if it was my tie. Like, that's my background. But I fully believe you can catch a baseball bat like this. And he enters a grappling state while the girl is on the ground there. Still trying to recover. Uh, good stuff. But I think he needs to do, go, start going for some... Ooh! He, starts, he needs to start going for some knockout stuff. Or start to debilitate the opponents a bit more. It's a good shoulder lock there. Oh. Nice. Ooh! Oh, I think he... Oh, I had to pause. It's going to be gory. Oh, let's see that again. Sorry, guys. It's just like the, the back part of the hammer is like tearing out her throat. That's gross. Now he has a weapon. Oh, but the guy is aggressive. Good dodges from Eco. Oh, I would not want to take that bat to the leg and to the ribs. That's a good wrist lock. And executed. Really good stuff. Super impressive scene again from uh, what, what movie is this? The Raid 2? Yeah, The Raid 2. Pretty gory stuff. Uh, classic Eco Away style, guys. Um, <coughs> that's it for the reaction. Holy, holy crap. There's a, a lot happening in that. Like, that was a really good scene. But before we get to the breakdown, you guys, uh, question of the day uh, What would you rather wield? Two hammers or one baseball bat? You let me know in the comments below. I personally, I think I would I would do the baseball bat. It seems more intuitive to me. And like, using two weapons of anything, two hammers, two swords, two two daggers, it's harder than you, it's harder than you would think. So uh, even two sticks is kind of hard to control without getting the sticks in the way of each other. So let me know, would you rather be, uh, what, what was this called? Hammer girl or baseball bat, man? Uh, and that's the question of the day, guys. All right, get to the breakdown here. I thought it was really good stuff. The way they use the weapons, they, the baseball, like the moves, I, I think he kind of just made that up for the choreography of it. Um, but the girl using the hammers, I've actually seen those spinning techniques before and the way you kind of like swipe through with one and then the second one and then like kind of spin back. I've actually seen that and in, in, I've been exposed to that kind of form before. So I have a feeling she's actually using dagger forms here. And if someone could correct me on that or if I'm just completely talking out of my butt, you can comment below as well. So I thought that was very realistic though. Uh, the way Rama was dealing with the two opponents, I didn't like the fact that he gave up the... He gave up his back towards one opponent for most of that fight. Sometimes you have to. I get it. But I think tactically that was a bit of an error. Not an error. Like he still won. But you know. Th that could have been an error on, on Rama's part here. And then the way he dealt with the weapons though. Like I would have tried to disarm the baseball one a bit quicker. When there's two hammers or two swords. That could be really tricky to deal with. From like a hand to hand or hand to weapon kind of uh, basis. But you know what? He did a good job of like, getting into the guard, getting too tight. He's like reduced, like uh, there's an optimal distance to each of those weapons. He was too close for it to work, right? It's just like the same uh, idea of like if someone's really good at kicking, you get in the punching range because now you're too close to be kicked super, super effectively. So I thought that was really good in the way he's like kind of like attacking the wrists and um, how you call it, just uh, uh, the forearms a lot to kind of break, you know, control their grip, control their weapon. Very, very cool. I would have disarmed the guy sooner if possible, but easier said than done when there's two of them coming at you. And in some cases, they're the guy got uh, what the girl or the guy were behind them, right? Like that definitely makes it harder. Um, overall, though, like the one thing too is that like there's a lot of time where the guy. Uh, Sometimes, and obviously it's a stunt, but like sometimes the guy would be like just on the ground being like, oh, oh, giving them time to do the choreography with the girl. So that that is obviously a stretch, but I mean, it's for the sake of the movie, you guys. And if like, if it was too chaotic or if they didn't section it off to have like a certain sequence of moves, like it would be like we wouldn't have anything to watch really, right? Like, this is already such a short scene. So uh, the way Rama dealt with the two guys before this, uh, and then these two, I thought was really, really realistic. And one thing I forgot to mention, guys, 
the baseball bat didn't end up being super effective, but one of the the reasons is not because not just that Rama is so skillful, but because look at this hallway. It's a bit too tight to be really using these weapons, and it's also kind of too tight for like a two on one to be super super effective, in my opinion. So Rama did have some advantages there from a tactical standpoint. Uh, let's get into uh, the realism. I'm not docking any points for stuff that I think is for the sake of the movie. Like again, like the guys are like rolling on the ground for a little bit. Um, and stuff like that, and that's really that's all I could say <laughs> to be honest with you. So, let's give this an easy 10 out of 10, you guys, in terms of realism. If you saw this movie, or this is the first time you've seen the, the scene with me, uh, Bruce Lee, um, and you're wondering if this seems realistic, I, I think it does. Like, obviously, it's like a bit dramatized for the sake of the movie, but I think in principle, like, th this makes a lot of sense uh, from my perspective, uh, and my martial arts experience. I'm not claiming to be a weapons master, though, so take it with a grain of salt there guys and entertainment that's an easy 10 i thought it was exciting the music the scenery the scene changes the weapons the blood like clack everything i've seen from raid one and two guys have been awesome so thank you for recommending the scene and uh someone actually recommended this scene in particular so if i don't put your screenshot up because i can't find it sorry but you know who you are and everyone commenting at home i appreciate you so much a uh, comment question of the day guys would you rather use a bat or two hammers uh please leave a like if you enjoyed the video or saw some value in the breakdown and if you subscribe it means i might i might see you again of which would be awesome all right uh for now bruce lee is out this one's easy 10 and 10 for scores i'll catch you next time